I was saying to myself the exact same shit. They'd walk up to somebody black in a crowd and ask them, how do you feel we finally get to see you African American? First of all, my grandmother was born here and her grandmother was a slave. I mean, my great grandmother was a slave. My great great grandmother was descendant of a slave. My grandmother was not a slave. Her mother was born of two slaves. Feel me? So, my family have been in this country a long fucking time. And I was thinking, why in the fuck am I an African American? I can't go to Africa and become an American African. That's bullshit. And when I was watching the inauguration stuff, I was in my studio producing music at the same time. I was working on a song called The Obama Dance. You know, get your body nice and tight, wiggle the spot that feel real right, the Obama. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. And, you know, we were making up this little whimsical dance. This funny music and shit was bouncing. And I noticed what you was just saying. Every time they ask somebody of color or something, they ask them the same fucking question. And are you glad to see a black man be president? Yeah. I would have been glad to see J.T. Watts become the president of the United States of America. I would have been glad to see Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Jr. voted in to be the president of the United States of America. I would have loved to see, and a lot of people going to get mad if I say this, Condoleezza Rice as the president of the United States. For some weird reason, I just threw that in there. But even though she's supposed to be evil like everybody else, well, you know, fuck it. So the moral of the story is this. When are we going to start being just people instead of a color? See, my hair is black. My laptop is gray and black. And my, well, my camera is gray and black, too. Uh, my phone is gray. Same color as aliens, you know? Where and when will we, we be just Americans? You don't see the average white person being called, you're a European American. No. And the Indians that were here already are Native Americans. How come the only fucking Americans on this motherfucker don't come from this motherfucker? Logically. Tell me. If white people came from England, fucking Spain, where the fuck ever, why are they considered American, period? They should be European Americans. Right? Maybe they said, that sounds funny. What do you mean, Sir Percival? European. It sounds funny. Sir Gallyrod. European does not sound funny. European sounds funny. That other guy over there talks real funny. And I heard him say European. And it sounded like this. European on my shoe. European on my shoe. Back up, motherfucker. European on my shoe. I'm not bashing white people in any way, shape, or form, but come on, man. That is fucking fucked up. And I, I'm 40 years old, and, and, and watching this young man right here on this video reminds me, that's fucking stupid. If white people don't have to put European American on a job application, why do black people have to put black American or African American? What's the difference? Are the ones directly from... Obama might be an African slash American because his mom was the American and his dad was the African. Thus, African American. But then what would I be? My mother and father both were so called, quote me if you want to, descended from those who descended from those who were brought over here in shackles. What are we called? Americanus de Africana? What the fuck is it? 
What are we? Black Americans? And they have white Americans? Then what would a Mexican be? A brown American? Then 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 a uh, Chinese or Asian would be a chi uh, uh, yellow American? Well, what if we run out of colors and just start be naming naming people like maybe the um, people from Sweden would be called uh Zinfandel Americans? I don't know. What divides and conquer a people is labels. What is a label? First of all, let me let me let me get real sinister. Real sinister. Not Simon Barr, but sinister. Now, back in the day, way back, way back, way back when when a nigger swung from a tree, well, we all drank gin. But back in the day, way back, people were talking about the mark of the beast, 666. I don't understand where I'm going with this, but I'm going to go someplace with it. And they're saying in the future, we're all going to have these little chips under our skin so we can go do our business. It is mostly fucked up in the worst, the worst way. When in the United States of America, no matter if you're black, white, green, purple, green, fucking chartreuse or plaid, it's going to be a bad day in America when you cannot get a job unless you have credit. And I just took you way out the box, didn't I? Took your way over the fence with that one. There are already jobs out there that will not hire you unless you got credit. And it's all tied to that number they gave us at birth. Ain't no fucking chip under your arm. You don't need no goddamn supernatural fucking three spikes on the back of your neck. The mark of the beast. Pretty much like those tattoos that they handed out to the Jews way back when the people stomped them down with the big muddy shoes. Doc Mon, motherfuckers. The social security number you were given at birth is no different than that number that the Nazis were tattooing on the fucking Jews. And until life itself becomes clear and transparent, a dumb motherfucker like you and a dumb motherfucker like me gonna walk through this son of a bitch not giving a fuck that we've already been marked. And then they say in the very near future, we cannot find gainful employment unless we have top-notch A1 credit. I don't need credit to get a fucking job. I need a job to maintain my credit. And religion? Religion. L. Ron motherfucking Lonzo, they should call me. Maybe I should start a religion right now. And this religion is the religion for the empowerment of the human race. I'm going to pray to me like I'm God. I'm going to bestow all the wishes of a God upon myself. And I suggest everybody do the same. And when you walk around and you see somebody else, you say, what's up, God? And that person should say, what's up, God? Control your own destiny. Don't let someone else's fairy tales that were written 5,000 years ago in a language you can't fucking read be deciphered for you, told to you as law. We're following a rule book wrote a long time ago by people who do not exist anymore for the betterment of now? Shit. Society as a whole has been lied to, duped, fucked over, prodded, raped. And as a victim of rape, I'm saying right now, no more! 